Hello everyone, I'm Jin Teacher from Reading Town. Today our lesson is entitled An Amazing Change. So change is when something doesn't stay the same, it becomes different. So here, something amazing is something that is making you say wow, or something fascinating. So here, uh, let's read our passage today. It says, sand is very fun to play with, but it can also be made into glass. So sand, where do we find sand? Look at this picture, usually by a beach. We take sand and we can play it or make a sand castle or do many different things. So sand is very fun to play with, but it can also be made into glass. Glass artisans heat up sand until it turns into liquid glass. Artisans are people who are very skilled in making things or making crafts. So what these people do is they take sand and then they make it really, really hot until it turns into some type of liquid glass. When the liquid glass is formed or made into various shapes, various means many different kinds. So when the liquid glass is formed into various shapes, it is cooled down. Tara, so tara is what we say when there's magic, right? Or something amazing. Now it is the hard and cool glass we all know. Glass is usually transparent, but it can come in many different colors as well. Transparent means you can see through it. So usually like water, if you put water in a cup and it's a clear cup, you can see right through it, it's transparent. So glass is usually very clear, but it can come in many different colors as well. So if you have very dark color sand, or if you color the sand and then you make it into liquid glass, then you can make different color glass. So if we rewind it all the way back, so the glass, uh, the glass that we see here today, where did it first come from? It came from sand. What do you do with sand? Do you just put it in an oven? Well, it has to be into a very, very powerful machine that makes it super, super hot, that it makes it liquidy, very wet. Uh, and then that's when we can shape it, cool it, or even color it so that we can use the glass that you and I see today. So the next time you go to the beach, I want you to remember that very sand is used to make the glass that you and I drink from. Let's look at the questions for this passage. Thinking about what we just read, this actually is not a balloon, but it actually is glass that is melted into hot liquid and now they're shaping it, they're forming it into uh, the shape that they want and then they cool it off so that it becomes hard. First sentence, it says blank can be made into glass. So what do we use? Do we use paper? Mm, that's not what we read. Do we use different types of plastic or metal? No. So in glass, we use, what do we find at the beach? Yes, we use sand. Sand can be made into glass. So how do we make sand? Glass artisans or the crafters heat up the sand until it turns into uh, frozen glass? No. When we heat something up, right, usually we think of melting like the snow. So when you heat it up, it turns into liquid glass. Liquid glass is anything that is in the form of a liquid like water or milk or your favorite drink. Those are all liquids. The rain is a liquid. So liquid glass is something that we can move and mold and shape, change the shape and color. The last sentence, then liquid glass is formed into what kind of shapes? So shapes is the noun. So it's describing the noun. We need an adjective. So into various shapes and various means many different kinds. If I have many different kinds of color pens in my pencil case, I can say I have various colors of pencils in my pencil, uh, in my pencil case. So sand, liquid, and various are the answers for this uh, reading passage. Let's go on to the last section. Let's circle the correct words. Here, glass artisans, once again, those crafters, Glass artisans form the liquid glass into various shapes, forms the liquid glass into various shapes, or forming the glass, liquid glass into various shapes. So the ing seems a little awkward there because it's not talking about just right now. The glass artisans forms, we already have the plural on the, on the noun. So when we have more than one noun, we cannot uh, put the S on the verb. So glass artisans, they always do it. Glass artisans 
form the liquid glass into various shapes would be the correct usage. The second uh, sentence, now it be the hard and cool glass we all know, now it is or now it are. We know that are is used for uh, plural, so we cannot do that. And when we say it, we need the be verb is. So now it is, that's right, the hard and cool glass we all know. The last sentence, glass can come in many different colors as well. Glass can comes in many different colors as well, or glass can came in many different colors as well. Well, because there's the word can, we cannot use the password came. So we can say glass came in many different colors as well, and that will be a fine sentence, but because of the word can, we cannot use the past tense came. So here, glass can comes or without the word can, once again, it could be comes. So we can say glass comes in many different colors as well, but because in the sentence the word can is there, the only choice that would work is glass can come in many different colors as well. So just as we have learned here today, let's not forget, where does glass come from? It comes from sand. What do you do with the sand? You heat it, you make it super, super hot, you make it into liquid glass, and then after you form it or change the shape, then after it cools down, it becomes the glass uh, in many various shapes, colors, and sizes that you and I use today. So the next time you see a cup or a glass cup, make sure that you tell someone, hey, did you know this came from sand? Once again, thank you very much. I'm Jin Teacher. See you around.